hello everyone welcome to the next session in the framework series so in this session we will see how we can use the jenkins parameter job and bash script so using the jenkins parameter job we can trigger our automation with the different configurations so for that we will require to create different parameters that we will use in our framework so those parameters will have dynamic values and those values we are going to send from the jenkins okay so those values at the runtime we need to update in our framework before we start our execution right so for that purpose we can use the batch file so in our automation we run our automation on different environment for which we can have this parameter environment so this can have different values like prod qa stage uat server qa server dev server right then different browsers firefox chrome edge then if you have parallel mode or not if you want to run sequentially or if you want to run in parallel mode so if you are going to run in parallel mode how many tests you are going to run in parallel so for that purpose we can have this parameter and maximum rate tries also so when we are going to run our automation on the local machine we can directly update these values manually right i can update this browser to chrome if i want to run on chrome okay but most of the time we run our automation in the night right using the jenkins schedulers or any other approach and that we run on the remote machine right so there we cannot do any manual thing so all these values should get updated automatically so before our automation start with the help of i mean clean install or i mean clean test we need to update all these parameters values with the help of bash file so we'll create a bash script and that script will update the values from jenkins parameter job into our config.properties file so along with these five parameters in the config.properties file we have one more parameter for the suit xml okay this one so we will create one parameter in the jenkins job for suit xml file so you can select sanity or regression or any other as per your requirement so that value will be updated in the pom.xml file before the execution with the help of bash script so first step is to install jenkins on your local system okay so i have already created a separate playlist on the jenkins from which uh, you can learn the basic things about the jenkins to the advanced level as well so once you set up the jenkins on your local system just log in with your username so for running jenkins job properly we required maven and another one is java so if you go to the manage jenkins under the tools so here we need to update the java form and the value is where java is installed okay and another one is maven so just click on new atom so i can create freestyle project or maven project so for now i am going to use the freestyle so just provide a name to your project and click on freestyle project click on okay so this is going to be a parameterized job right so select this checkbox and click on add parameter so there are different parameters that we can use so for now we are going to use the choice parameter that means we will provide a drop down with the different values and user can select values from that drop down and build the jenkins job so select the choice parameter here you can provide the name of your parameter so let's say first is suit so this will have sanity right and we have regression and here we can provide the description which is optional similarly we can add different choice parameters for all the five parameters okay from the config dot properties file so i have added all other parameters server will have prod qa dev and stage then we have the browser parameter that we can select chrome firefox and edge then parallel mode so by default will be no you can select yes from the drop down and we have this maximum parallel test which can have 1 2 and 3 so as per your requirement you can change these values and for the next choice parameter that is maximum rate tries so you can change that values from 1 2 and 3 okay so in the source code management when we are going to build our project uh, from the gitlab or github then we need to provide the repository url so that i will show you when we are going to run from the github so keep none selected here as we are going to ru run our local maven project okay and go to the build step from here we are going to run the execute windows batch command okay so i will show you uh, what command we need to run from here okay so before that click on apply and save so this is our jenkins parameterized jobs and here we will get option to build this job with the parameters okay so manually if you are running this jenkins job just select the values and click on build and if you are using the jenkins scheduler then whatever default values you have set for these parameters that will be used okay so jenkins job is ready so we just need to create a bash script by which we will uh, update all these parameters values from jenkins job 
into our automation framework okay so five values we are going to update in our config.properties file for all these parameters and one value in the pom.xml file for our sanity or regression so that batch file we are going to keep under our batch file folder so here i have created update params values dot bat file so let me show you from the local system so under this batch file folder we will keep our batch file let me show you how we can create a windows batch file I just click on new and click on text document okay give some name let's say test one then open that file then go to file then click on save as so you need to add dot bat extension here and from this save as type select all files okay otherwise it will be a simple text document and i will click on save so you can see here we got the test one dot batch file so let me show you the batch script that we are going to use so a few important things first thing is we need to move to our folder location where our framework is located okay so at the end we are going to execute mun clean install right or mun clean test so for that purpose we require a pom.xml file location so this is the location we need to move first right from the jenkins so this is the command for that then we are going to set the uh, configuration file location so our config.properties file is available in the src test resources then we have configuration folder under which we have this config.properties file right in the framework if you see in the src test resources we have this configuration under which we have this file okay so we are going to update the parameter values from this file right so that's why you need to provide the location then another location for the pom.xml file so this is available at the framework level so once you move to this location this pom.xml file is available so you can directly set the value is equal to pom.xml file okay so this values or these variables we are going to use in this script basically what we are going to uh, do is we will create a temporary config.properties file and temporary pom.xml file we will run this script and at the end we will move that temporary file data into our original config.properties file so in this for loop what we are going to do is we are going to uh, find the key and values okay with this equal to so in the config.properties file we have this key and its value so we need to separate key and value so we can use this equal to operator right so in the a we will have the key and in the where we have used here yeah. in the b we will have the value of that parameter so these are the names if this key is equal to browser then set browser is equal to percentage browser percentage that means whatever user select browser value in the jenkins job that value we need to replace for this browser parameter in the config.properties file similarly for environment okay in the config.properties file we have key name as environment if the key is environment so for that parameter apply value of this server parameter from the jenkins job so in the jenkins we have this server parameter we don't have the env right we have given name as server so assign env is equal to whatever value user select for this server parameter from the jenkins job similarly assign these values depending upon the parameter values selected in the jenkins job so at the end we are going to move the temporary config file with the original config file okay so we are going to overwrite our original config dot properties file with the new values the same logic we will use for the updating the pom dot xml file here we have this suit xml file parameter right in the pom dot xml file so if this line is equal to this one we need to say that line is equal to same only the parameter value for this suit and at the end we are going to move that temporary file into our original file okay so whatever values uh, user selects for all the jenkins parameters will be overwritten in our config.properties file and pom.xml file before the execution so for execution we will use mun clean test and this is end of our script so in the configuration you need to provide the batch script location okay so we are going to trigger our automation with the help of windows batch script so here we need to use the call command so as we are going to call the external batch file which contains again the batch script right so we need to provide the location of that batch file that we want to trigger 
so that's it click on apply and save first we will just see whether these values in the config.properties properties and pom.xml file are changing or not okay so whatever values we have selected in the jenkins job that should get updated in our framework click on build so here you will find the console output so you can see in the console uh, it goes to this location jenkins job workspace call this is the location uh, from which we are running our batch file and at the end after completion of that script it has moved the files so one is config.properties and another one is pom.xml file so let's confirm it so in the eclipse we got environment is equal to qa firefox s2 and 2 so here we did not get the regression so let me check the script again so script looks fine uh, let's rerun this yeah so this time we got the regression over here so let's trigger this automation now so i will add mun clean test so let's run the sanity suit okay uh, i am going to run on the prod because i have said the prod value as amazon dot in okay so we should run on the prod for now so if it is qa day or stage i have just given the dummy urls okay these are not the actual urls of the amazon so let's run our uh, automation on the prod itself so depending upon this environment these values will be fetched in our framework so that we are doing from the base test right uh, here we are using the get url and two more uh, methods we have to uh, read the get parallel mode value and get maximum parallel test value from the config.properties file right so depending upon these uh, two values if parallel mode is yes or no and the maximum parallel test will update our sanity.xml or regression.xml file okay so by default we have set thread count equal to 1 so whatever value we will select uh, in the jenkins job for the maximum parallel test that should be reflected here okay like this so we can directly do it using the bash script or you can do some changes in our framework so in the base test uh, before suit okay before starting the execution i can check if let's say config reader dot get parallel mode so if it is if it is equal to yes okay get the contact first then get the suit then get the full xml dot set we have this set thread count so we need to set the integer value for this thread count right so that we are going to read from config reader so we just need to call this method so again go to here config reader dot get maximum parallel test okay so this value will be its string we need to convert that string into the integer okay so before starting our execution in the before suit we will check if parallel mode is yes okay if it is yes then get the maximum parallel test count from the config.properties file and set it for the thread count in the xml and if it is no then normal execution will happen so sanity then here we have the prod let's run on the chrome parallel mode yes maximum parallel test 2 and retry is let's keep as 1 click on build so after this moving the file it is going to run our mun clean test from our batch file right so in your case it can download some libraries after running the mun clean test so if you see as per our logs it is running the regression instead of sanity okay and in the pom.xml file also we have the regression right so in the bash script we have added this line but here is small mistake so we need to add one more line here so either of these update the value to the value of this suit parameter so everything will be same here i will select yes two and it tries one click on build so 
so in the beginning only in the logs we are showing what suit we are running right so this time it should show the sanity yeah so now we got amazon sign in page sanity test so we got the failures here uh, let's check the issue here because this document configurator is null okay in the setup suit in the base test class uh, yes so we are directly using the reference but we have not created any object for the configurator class in this setup suit method so you need to create object here as well so hopefully this will run so whatever test we have tagged to the sanity that will be executed in parallel mode so all this execution will happen in the headless mode okay you will not see any browser so here you can see two browsers got open on the separate thread so this will take some time to complete uh, let me pause the video and i will resume once the execution is completed and then we will see the extent report so execution is completed let's try to open the extent report so i will go to the local system we have separate folder for the extent report so in the report as per our configuration we got pass fail and skip result make it as a white theme so for every failure we will get the exception and the screenshot let's go to the dashboard here you can see total 9 out of which 6 pass and 3 failed and we got the different values for our browser url etc so let's try to run it one more time so this time i will run on the firefox so i executed automation on the firefox and we got the result here so all the things the bash script and our jenkins parameterized jobs are working fine so this is how you can use the jenkins parameterized job on your local system and trigger the automation with the help of bash script